what's poppin a1s and welcome back to my channel good morning those of you guys who are new here go ahead and thumbs me up babes and go ahead and subscribe because you are going to absolutely love it here so it is hump day hump day hump day wednesday y'all um wednesday is like one of those days of the week where you like whoa almost there almost there not quite but almost and so yes y'all i am excited i'm headed into the office today i'm real chill i didn't get really dressed up today because um that's one thing i do like about my office they don't be tripping you don't have to be business casual you don't have to be casual you just need to be dressed appropriately like you know don't be showing that midsection don't put on nothing too tight showing them curves and wear shoes like don't be coming in there with no slippers on or nothing like that but yeah so i am going into the office really really chill today but i wanted to talk to y'all about something now i saw this movie a while ago right but i kept forgetting to talk about it on the channel and you guys know Tessa was really the main thing that was going on like two weeks ago like that was like the highlight story but it is another story i want to talk to you guys about and um first of all let me start off by saying i am a tyler perry fan tyler perry is phenomenal he has done so much for the black community we should hold him in the highest regard when it comes to giving us opportunities and resources to grow our uh, careers and you know essentially submit ourselves in this industry let me say that because some of y'all are going to come for me after I say what I'm about to say next. Now, I know if you have or haven't, stop what you're doing and go watch Mia Copa. Now, it has been at least three or four weeks by the time y'all see this video that Mia Copa has been out with Kelly Rowland. And I think the other guy's name is Trevante or something like that. Y'all know Trevante. He played in that movie, uh, um, Something Moon. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The one that was like critically acclaimed and all that. But saying all that to say... I watched it probably three or four days after it came out. I watched it by myself and like it was probably like 12 o'clock in the morning. And I just said, you know what? Let me support because one thing about it, I'm going to support anything black. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not that girl now. Now I'm going to have some criticism and I have criticism for many different things. But one thing I'm going to say about Tyler Perry, baby. If you ever see this, if anybody close to you ever see this, hire more writers that, and I know he has a team, but I really want to see him grow. I really want to see him. And again, again, Tyler Perry don't have to listen to me. He doing way better than me in life. Let me say all this, but I was kind of blowed about how he handled Mia Copa. Like the way he wrote that story and the way it unfolded, I was terrified. Like. I was so at awe at the end of Mia Copa to where I went down this large rabbit hole on Twitter, X, whatever you guys call it these days. And I just needed to see if I was tripping. And I fear, I fear y'all queen was not tripping. Like, Tyler, 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 Tyler. Like, it's so many questions I have. This guy actually posted about it on Instagram the other day. And if I can find it and screenshot it, I'm going to add it on the screen. But, yes, all the same questions he posted are the same questions I have. Baby a lawyer, but we ain't see baby in that courtroom. Anybody who knows true TV and is a true master and study of that art when it comes to TV film know that court and law movies do extremely well people are obsessed with that type of stuff there's a reason why law and order svu and all it's there's a reason why it's 20 different versions out right now of law and order right it's the reason why the lincoln lawyer does so well it's the reason why suits did so well it's the reason why the oj simpson story did so well i mean your girl can keep going because y'all know i'm a film major so i'll be knowing some shit it's the reason why that stuff be doing good honey people are obsessed with that type of stuff just like people are obsessed with anything dealing with the hospital so i'm saying that to say how hey, y'all had my girl having that shit on y'all know kelly rolling hair was done the suits everything was hitting looks wise but y'all never let her have an opportunity to show us the kind of lawyer she was, to give us that dialogue, to give us that scene. I thought that was crazy. I'm going to be honest. I was, I, I couldn't wait 
until they got to the scene of which they was in um hold on what is this car doing i need them to oh y'all i'm trying to get in get to work and they playing but yeah i was desperately desperately waiting for baby to be in that courtroom i was desperately waiting to find out okay again th there's are some spoiler alerts so if you haven't seen the movie y'all probably want to go ahead and stop watching now because i'm gonna say something the way the movie continued and i just felt like it was well maybe i won't say no spoilers i'll take it back y'all but the movie was rushed it was rushed i could tell that they did so much leading up to her you know falling for the guy and then her basically ruining her marriage again i know people be having problems in their marriage i know lawyers and doctors and presidents and all kind of people cheat on you know their wives or whoever they got for the help and the assistance and all that i know that's real life shit going on but i could not for the love of me for the love of me wrap my head around why kelly's mia is her is her uh who she plays in the movie i could not wrap my head around why this queen would be wanting to have sex and start a relationship with a man who has blatantly disrespected her and i say that because y'all know the scene where he was already intertwined with somebody and then he come she come behind the girl i just thought that was crazy i just don't think that's realistic y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think i don't think it's realistic to be watching your man having something intercourse with someone else and then you like oh i'm gonna come right behind him I just don't know that girl. I don't know that girl. I'm, I'm not that girl, but I thought that was crazy. I felt like the way he talked to her, the way he handled her, with her supposed to have him being his lawyer. There's no, there's nothing about how he handled that situation that in my opinion should have made her fall for him. I feel like what was missing was what was the moment or what was the reason for her to fall for him to where she felt like I needed to have sex with him and I needed to be talking to him and taking him serious? I did not see no lead up that made me feel like where that made sense. I'm going to just be honest. And y'all let me know in the comments if y'all disagree. I didn't see it. I also felt like throwing her best friend in there and now all of a sudden she has something dealing with him in the past. It's just, to me, it's just stupid because I just don't understand what people talk to each other be having relations with each other and you don't know who their friends are like they close friends i ain't talking about no down the line friends you don't know who their husband is like to me it's just it's just it don't it's stupid it don't it's not adding up he knew that her best friend was married to a da i refuse to believe that he did not know that so why would you so why when they said you kill why you ain't say bring it up and say oh well i had sex with the da's wife the assistant da's wife i'm sorry so it he he probably could be setting me up it's just it's just i'm sorry the writing is is i don't want to say terrible but the writing ain't it it ain't it if y'all need me on y'all team i i don't know exactly how i would have wrote that piece and made it make sense but i just was i just that's all that's all i'm gonna say but maybe that's you know tp strategy he want to write something that's so outrageously could or could not be true and it have us talking like this if the movie had been wrote written correctly and it and all the holes would have been muddied up like mean tied up all the loose ends maybe we wouldn't be hollering like this because me people been hollering about this movie literally for weeks now and i just said you know what maybe that's his strategy he got uh, all us talking he got all us analyzing the film and bravo tp if that's what's the goal if the goal was to have the people confused you did that <laughs> you did that but anyway y'all i'm about to head into the office i just pulled up to work so now i'm about to get up out of here because yeah i have to just take care of handle business stand on business but i hope you guys are having an amazing week thus far and yeah i'm gonna see y'all a little bit later on in the vlog Okay, so I'm about to put y'all down. I'm kind of like not trying to be in the camera because I have on a bonnet. But yes, y'all, I'm about to show y'all how I make my infamous noodles. So without further ado, let's get, get, get it. So first and foremost, you want to have one of these. 
just get a small bowl. We're going to put them in the microwave. I microwave my noodles because I like to control. Me personally, I like my noodles to be not soggy. I like my noodles to be kind of firm. So I control it. But long story short, you want to get like a little bowl. It don't have to be like this small, but just a little bowl. So I always crunch my noodles up. And make sure you crunch them bad boys up. If you live in a house, you know, just do that. But I guess if you're in an apartment, you don't want to be making all that noise. So you're going to go ahead and pour the noodles inside. Definitely, definitely always want to take out the secret ingredient, which is the chicken flavor. You need that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this up to where all of my noodles is covered. So I'm going to show y'all what that looks like. Is what it looks like when it's filled up. And as you can see, Hopefully y'all can see it's everything is covered. You just want to make sure your noodles are covered. First, this is the secret ingredient. Not any apple cider. It has to be apple cider vinegar and it has to be this color, this kind, the apple cider one. Not that regular distilled vinegar. Baby, it has to be apple cider. The apple cider got that taste and that's what's going to set your noodles apart. So what you want to do is you basically pour like a capful or two. I do like basically two capfuls. Two capfuls, that's the first thing you wanna do. Next, you wanna grab your crushed red pepper. Now, if you're not a, you know, hot girl, you don't know how to hot girl, you might not wanna go crazy with these, but you wanna just put a little bit in there just to give it that taste. Now, mind you, when we pour the water out at the end, some of the stuff will come out, so it's not gonna be as spicy, but you just want your noodles to cook with that goodness. The next thing I'm doing is this onion powder. The onion powder is needed because you got to think about it. This is chicken. This is chicken flavor. So you got to think like you making chicken. I will hope y'all make y'all chicken with onion powder and garlic powder and all them powders. I will hope that's how y'all make y'all chicken. But you got to really cook noodles like you making chicken. Like That's the only way it's going to be going crazy. So you want to do a little bit of that. Next, you want to get your garlic powder. Not garlic salt, garlic powder. That's what you need. And you're going to go crazy like this and just get it all up in there. Little razzle-dazzle. Just go, go as crazy as you can. Next, you're going to take any seasoning. Now, you can do Lowry's. You can do whatever you got that's kind of like a little seasoned all salt. And you want to add that on top because you want to give it that red flavor, that red. Now, sometimes I add a little bit of cayenne pepper, but I'm not this time because I'm going to really rely on my red crushed peppers to do what they magic, to make it that spice I like. But like I said, if you're not a spice girl, definitely don't put too much in it. This is what your noodles should look like. This is what they should look like when you have everything in there. Y'all see how it's just very seasoned. Now, what you're not going to do is put this bad boy in there. This bad boy going in at the end. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave for four minutes. Four minutes is the time where my noodles are not soggy. I like my noodles, like I said, I like my noodles to be firm, but like almost soggy, if that makes sense. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now our food is microwaving and pretty soon we can have what we need. I hopped on the phone here, but what I'm showing y'all is I pour out just a little bit. Don't pour out too much. Pour out just a little bit because you want to make sure that your noodles are still, you know, wet. You got to leave it wet, honey. What Nicki Minaj say? You don't, can't make that. It's dry. You got to get that shit wet. Y'all know whatever she said in that rap. But anyway, you want to make sure you do that. And then that is when you're going to add the last ingredient, which is going to be your chicken seasoning. And you're just going to whisk that around, you know, get it all up in there. And yeah, this is my noodle recipe, y'all. Sometimes I also add chili powder, lemon pepper seasoning. I'm not gonna lie, I switch it up all the time, but you get the gist. I'm in LA with the vibes. Yes. I don't want to stop 
is it giving or no? I don't even think y'all can see the whole look. But yeah. Period. It's giving. Day one in LA, not even really a full day, like half a day in LA, done. I am about to take this makeup off, y'all. It is 1.47 in LA, so that means it's like 4.47 at home on the east side. LA is different, y'all. LA is really different, and I'm going to tell y'all about it tomorrow so it is saturday so let me just run it back run it back because i know i'm coming in hot on the vlog and yes i'm about to do my hair and kind of tell y'all just what's going on so i got here last probably like i want to say maybe mid-afternoon ish i left atlanta at two and i got here at 4 30 so i've been here since friday and when i tell y'all la is different like la is really really different uh i don't know who that is calling me but i'm gonna call them back but yeah la is different this is my fifth time coming out here and i never had a bad time so let me say that but i'm just you know how, like, you such a down south Georgia girl. You such a southern queen. It's just different here in L.A., but I like the vibe. So, let me tell y'all what we did yesterday. So, uh, I came out here because my friend's friend, cousin, it's like a whole thing. Her birthday is, uh, was yesterday. So, happy birthday again to you if you ever watch this. But, so, we're here to celebrate her, right? So, last night, we ended up going to this restaurant. Um, I think it's called Cobra's and my 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 torres or something it was like a mexican restaurant and y'all it was the food was great um i would give it a eight out of ten the food was really good i'm gonna go ahead and insert clips of that and how that went yeah so it was a vibe and then we left there and went to this place called dot i don't know if y'all are familiar or know what dot is but that's what we ended up going and that was a vibe i actually did not vlog at all while i was in diet because i'm gonna be honest y'all the time had caught up with me y'all know going from east to west i was tired so by the time we was in there good it probably was like like maybe 12 30 ish we was in there that means it was like going on four o'clock in the morning east coast vibe so i was very sleepy i kind of was like a little debbie downer a little bit i ain't gonna lie but today i'm with the shits i'm ready it is 11 42 here getting a late start in the day but that means at home it's like what going on four o'clock three four o'clock so yeah i'm about to get myself together and today is gonna be a day okay now as y'all can see all of my ogs is watching this video i done switched up my hair again yes i done switched it up i don't red and yeah i'm getting better and better with installing my hair y'all so i just wanted to show y'all real quick i'm gonna show y'all what my final look is after i do my makeup and just get myself together right now i'm looking real regular but i'm gonna go ahead and do my hair but i just wanted to come on here and say hello and kind of like tell y'all what happened last night oh and how did i forget this i tried a chopped cheese last night y'all it was actually good as f i'm gonna insert clips of that the chopped cheese um was i guess where were we at I, I don't even know what street maybe we were on hollywood or something i don't know where we was but oh my god y'all the chopped cheese was good and i kind of was like okay i see why people be saying stuff about this chopped cheese but anyway y'all that's about it let me go ahead and finish and get myself together and i'm gonna come back to y'all when i am at 100 percent we finally getting up out of here for the day. We really not even going where we supposed to be going. We just out here taking pictures. Oh my god, the weather! Oh, the weather is going crazy. The weather is so good. The weather is good. It's 
a little windy. It's a little windy, y'all, but the weather is weathering, okay? So, yeah. The weather is weathering! Yes, it is. And I feel so much more comfortable today, too, y'all, because last night I had them stilts on. <sighs> And I was just wanting to sit down the whole time, but I'm actually ready to be walking now, so that's good. Okay, so we walked across the street to this ramen bar, y'all. And when I tell you, I'm obsessed with Asian food. I love Asian food. Like, I love their food. I've been tearing up yellowtail. Um, what's it, your mom I've been eating this shit all week. I'm about to have it again. So I'm gonna show y'all my food when it comes. So Linda looking at me like, girl, I like the way that picture looks. Which one now? One when you just Ready, eyes here, three, two, one. I Okay, remember when I said that they um, wasn't playing my music last night? They Wait, got it right. we should take a Howard photo! They got it right today, y'all. Y'all hear that future in the back? Good morning, A1s. So today is my official last day in LA. I will be back. I will be back, but yeah, I'm out of here. So before I leave, I literally have, I think about eight or nine hours until my flight. So I'm about to head to the fashion district. As you guys know, I have everything shop. You may or may not know, cause depending on who's watching this right now, but I have an online boutique and um, I'm looking to switch some things up so I need to head over to the fashion district because I'm looking for something in particular. And yeah, so I'm about to head now. My Uber is literally two minutes away. So I'm waiting on the Uber and then off to the district we go. Okay y'all, so I just touched down and um, I really need to focus. So as soon as I figure out where I'm gonna start, then I'll start vlogging a little bit more, but let me just get to where I'm going and I'm gonna come back to y'all. So, I'm here and I just got through networking and talking with a few people. I chose not to vlog because I just, you know how sometimes you feel like you are being too invasive in people's privacy and I could tell they was already looking down at my hand, but I do wanna report back good news. So, I do have some manufacturers. No, they were not open today. So if you're coming to LA, make sure you get to the manufacturers at least by Saturday, I believe. They still be kind of open on Saturdays, but get to the manufacturers. But I got lucky because I literally had already reached out and kind of was like, hey, inquiring. 
and they directed me in the way that I need to go. So I'm happy about that. So that's the first thing. Second thing is I'm pricing fabric out here as well, trying to see, you know, what fabrics and how much stuff it costs. And you know, fabric can be expensive when you're buying it in yards. So I'm looking at that. And then uh, the other thing I'm looking at too is jewelry. I'm really thinking about getting into custom jewelry stuff. So all in all, it was a great experience. I wish I could have showed y'all more, but like I said, I didn't want to be super like having the camera in people's face. Cause you know, everybody don't want that. So now that I've done that, it is now going on 2.15. I am about to head back to where we're staying at and I don't know what we're doing. I don't know if we're going to in and out Burger or if we're going to do some fine dining, but I have my airport outfit on already because I just like to be packed up and ready to go the day of. I don't like to do makeup or anything like that. So yeah, y'all, um, I'm going to walk around a little bit more and see what else is out here, but other than that, I'm about to skedaddle. Okay, so like here's, a, for example, here's another place I found. Y'all see that $1.99 and I'm sure that's $1.99 per yard. That is like really cheap. Now, do I necessarily like these fabrics? You know, it just depends on what all they have. But this is still an idea of if you come and you want to start your own business and you want to create your own stuff, custom stuff, this is the stuff you want to look at. Like how much is it per yard? I am back in the house, y'all, and I am pissed. I'm so mad because I think I know exactly how I got sick. And it's not anybody's fault. It just is what it is. But I'm just so annoyed because I, I saw the person coughing and sneezing and doing all that. And I just didn't. <clears throat> imagine that the germs would fly to me somehow like i hate that for me but it is what it is so i i did go by starbucks and got the medicine ball if you never had a medicine ball then yeah it's like that so i'm about to sip on this to like soothe my throat help with my nose and i feel so bad because i'm about to get on the plane and i'm gonna be coughing and sneezing they're gonna be pissed like my uber driver he literally he was making a joke out of it but i could tell he was blowed that i was back there coughing and shit in his car and he was like oh are you gonna be drinking that and that's another thing i want to talk about too and uber needs to put like where you pay extra ahead of time if you know you're gonna have like a drink or something with you he was kind of trying to tell me i couldn't drink my drink and telling me this horror story of this girl who said she wasn't gonna spill her drink and spilled it but the way he was driving, I fear, I see why she spilled it. Like, every time it came for a stop, we hitting one of these. Like, you you just be driving crazy. That's why the girl spilled her drink. But I did take a couple sips every time we got to a stoplight. But I was just like, let me get out of his car. Because every time I called, he was asking me was I okay. And then he brought up some joke about COVID and how people just be sick now. It don't got nothing to do with COVID. I'm like, shut your ass up. Even if I do have COVID, it's done. Now I'm already in your I'm already in your car, sir. Like you need to be, you can't be an Uber driver worrying about that type of stuff. You don't know who you gonna get. But anyway, um, she's in the shower, so I'm probably about to lay back down again, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Don't kill me. It's a sample sale going on out here. I don't know if y'all are familiar with J Lux label, but they're having a sample sale and it ends at five. I kind of want to go, but at the same time, I'm tired. Like, I just, you know, when you sick, you just be straight. I fear I'm straight. So, I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to come back in the vlog if something else happens. I'm about to lay back down for a little minute, y'all, because I can't. I cannot do it. Eternity later. What's up, y'all? I know it's been a while since y'all last saw me, but I have been under the weather ever since I came back from L.A., but I'm finally starting to feel better. And as y'all can see... I am in none other than Putnam County, visiting my family. My auntie requested to be on the video. So y'all about to see her in a minute.
good morning a1s and welcome back so y'all it is tuesday it's tuesday and i think the last time y'all saw me i don't even remember last week was a blur last week was a blur but you know what i'm happy about my recovery rate for getting sick last week was way faster than the recovery I needed earlier this year. And y'all, I'm going to be honest, I am so happy. Like, if you know, you know, honey. If you know, you know. But I, yeah, I'm, I'm like at 100% now. I'm so happy. I do still get a cough every now and then. But it's not nothing compared to what I had going on last week. I'm just so happy that I had my normal you know five to say five to seven i'm to my five to say five to seven downtime when it came to me being sick but now i'm back and i'm better so i'm happy about that but yes y'all so i'm headed into the office i just left the post office thank you to everybody who continuously supports me even though i don't promote as much for everything shop but um, just stay tuned. It will be happening very soon. I just, you know, y'all know why. The people, the OGs know why. But yes, y'all, I'm heading into the office and yeah, I done switched up the hair again. I just love it here, y'all. So I just wanted to update y'all on what I have planned. So this weekend, not so much, but next weekend, I'm excited because I will be taking a wig class. Yes. I'm about to really, really, really hone into my crafts, even if I'm just going to end up doing it for myself. I'm just, I just want to know how to do my hair properly, uh, you know, how to do it real, real good so that I don't have to be spinning no arm and a leg to get my hair done anymore. So I am going to be taking a class with CC coming up on March 30th. So I'm excited about that. Uh, life has been life and y'all I am in the process of getting ready to move again yes um, it's it's about that time um, I probably dive deeper and you know probably more about my thought process on that and what I've been doing probably later on in other vlogs but I'm just kind of giving you guys an update Oh, work is working work is the same i did get a raise at work i don't know if i told you guys this already but i did get a raise um some more money more problems yeah i already know i already feel like um i think my boyfriend asked me he was like you feel like you make more money now and i was like to be honest i can't tell because i'm still spending or whatever i still been saving i still been doing good with like saving my money things like that but y'all know it's time and y'all know uh taurus season is on the way honey so you know i'm just getting prepared for your girl birthday and things like that so you know i'm saving but i'm also preparing for what i'll be doing for my birthday this year so i'm excited about that but yeah y'all it ain't nothing going on this is probably gonna be the very very end of the vlog that i started from when i was in la it's just you know i need to do better at just picking up the camera even though i've been sick and it ain't really been nothing going on i feel like it still will make for a long healthy vlog so i think i'm gonna be more conscientious about just picking the girl up and talking honey because you know i could be missing out on vital information vital vlog content because i'm not picking up my camera but i did have a good weekend uh this weekend made me realize that it be shit to do in Atlanta. Like, I know I said at the last vlog, but when I tell y'all, we went to something called KOD Atlanta Branch, and baby, it was a time. It was so much of a time to where I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to gather the troops and we're gonna have to come here for my birthday. Like, it was lit in there. Like, it was so lit. They play all music that I know and love, music that you know and love. Like, it was one of those ones, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to start back you know doing stuff like brunch i stopped doing brunch a long time ago because when i was like my maybe mid 20s i was tearing brunches up honey it was a brunch every weekend we was going to bqe sweet food lounge arbor lounge uh like we was all over atlanta right but i'm older now so i'm like uh i'm not saying the brunch scene don't excite me no more it's just i've been there done that right but 
this weekend I did a brunch on Sunday with my cousins and it was kind of lit I'm not gonna lie so I was like okay maybe I need to get back in the maybe not all the time obviously but I was like let me start you know playing and stuff with the girls or something like that with my guy friends and us doing like brunch on Sundays or even brunch on Saturdays but it was lit it was so so lit I'm gonna insert some clips so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about but yes y'all other than that um I don't got nothing going on like I said I'm about to head into the office and kind of get my mind right uh this week is gonna be different because um I don't know if I told y'all this in the last vlog but yeah y'all they want us to come in the office three days a week now I hate it here I hate it here this is the first week where I'll be attempting to go in three days and I just it just is what it is I just kind of feel like when it comes to the job market right now, they know that nobody's hiring. They know that it's hard, it's becoming increasingly and increasingly hard to find great paying jobs. Most of all, work from home jobs. It's almost like the whole world was on one band, one sound, and everybody was like, oh yeah, y'all can work from home. And then Jeff Bezos, I believe it was him made that damn, or it was, um. Elon Musk, one of them made a damn comment and said, yeah, they need to be back in their office because, I mean, I can't remember if he said something derogatory after it or he just said he feel like that's just what we need to be doing. But ever since they made that comment, y'all, all hell been breaking loose and these companies are like putting their foot down and they like, yeah, y'all need to be up in that office. We don't want y'all at home. We feel like it's more collaborative. Everybody's in the office. And I think it's some BS. I think they just don't want us. I think they know people are starting to multitask now. I think they know people have other things going on outside of, you know, the company. And I feel like in their mind, they think it's taking away from their revenue. And it might be, depending on where you work or what you do. Hell, you send it home, uh doing uber on the side or doing whatever you are doing on the side may be taken away from your company's revenue but you know what i really think it is and this is not me just saying this i think the actual problem is that these companies they don't have the money the money is gone honey the money is gone they don't have the money anymore to be putting all these advertising dollars, um, paying for all this random stuff. I just think the pandemic, and I was reading this um, post last night, this guy put on um, Instagram, the pandemic ruined a lot, a lot, especially for Georgia. Now I can't speak for, you know, other cities, other states, but the pandemic ruined a lot for us. I'm not gonna lie, like, it's like, it showed, it showed people who live here, people who are here, oh, they got some money. Atlanta people, they got some money, they can afford this stuff, and we never could afford it. We never could afford it. The pandemic allowed for us to be able to afford and live the life that we was all living because people were spending and throwing the money up in the air, honey. But that ain't been the case since like the beginning of 2022. Time has changed. People is back broke now. People back living modest lives. And I don't know. I, I feel like the party scene here in Atlanta, uh, you know, the restaurant scene, um, just a lot of different avenues. I don't think they get it. I think they think it's still 2021 when we was getting them Trump checks and stimuli, stimulus checks and all that stuff and all that stuff was going on, PPP loans. I believe that they think that's still going on and baby, I'd be the first to tell you it's not. So please, please spare me, spare us. We so tired of paying for this damn parking. Like I just had to finesse parking just in so that I can get my Dunkin' Donuts that I love to have my cappuccino blast and my avocado toast with bacon. Y'all already know. So anyway, saying all this to say things are different. However, things are also really good and really the same. And I just can't wait until the rest of the world catches up with where we are currently whether it's your job, whether it's the church, whether it's your relationship, whether it's, it don't even matter. I just think that 
we have such a unrealistic thought process of what world we're actually living in and i think if people start thinking more like okay recession more like people ain't got it i think that will make everything better and i think it will be easier for us to get back to where we need to be where we are spending the dollars and we are we do have the money again you know it'll be just a different vibe versus now assuming people have it and then charging all these large prices for convenience and fun and entertainment i just think it's crazy and it's turning everybody off i'm gonna be honest we i'm turned off so anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this little talk i am about to head into the office i finally made it here so let me get my mind right because yeah it's a lot going on at work but this is what happens when you are a corporate bay see y'all later Bye.